Hey everybody, this is the P801SF from Rake. Rake is the knife division of Phoenix Flashlights, and they've been doing a bang up job of making pretty awesome, affordable knives over the past about three years. This was the very first Rake knife I ever got, and um, it's yet another knife that I had sort of sitting in my Amazon uh, queue for a while, and uh, just never pulled the trigger on, and then just decided to and and uh, I'm very happy I got it it's a it's a really nice little workhorse EDC and it's not so little it's actually a three and a half inch blade and uh, um, it, it performs pretty well it's full flat ground it's 14 C 28 and it's uh, got a it's uh, riding in a stainless steel frame lock that's uh, not milled out in any way but it's nice and thin so that it doesn't need too much milling anyway. It's open construction, it's got standoffs, and a really nicely blue-coated pocket clip. I don't think this is anodized, I think it's steel and I think it's coated. It's running on a ball bearing pivot, which is quite smooth, and uh, it only costs about 25 to 28 bucks. So uh, I think that's a hell of a deal. So this knife, because it's a steel framed frame lock, has a really solid feel to it. It's uh, It's got some weight to it, but it's not, uh, it's not overly heavy. It's that density thing you get with steel frame knives. But it's slight enough that it rides easily in the pocket and uh, it's so thin that you kind of forget it's there until you need it. You know, that old cliche. I don't ever want to forget that I have a knife on me, but uh, you know what I mean. It's, uh, its size and weight makes it forgettable in the pocket. It's got really, really nice action. It's, uh, like I said, it's on a, a ball bearing pivot. I have yet to disassemble this, um, but uh, just blasting it out with a little bit of air made it, made it go even smoother than when I first got it. Light switch, push button, both work great. This is one of those knives that you get that makes you feel like maybe you're spending too much money on the knives you spend a lot of money on. Um, that's of course a, uh, a taste and availability thing. If something's available to you and you like it and you get it, um, it's worth it, you know, if, you, uh, if you're a collector. But something like this just reminds you that you don't have to pay a ton of money to have something that that has decent steel, that has great action, that has great ergonomics. Great jumping, by the way. Uh, multiple deployment methods available. Great in many grips. This is exceptional. I love that thumb end. Um, you can use it like this too. Has a universally shaped blade that will do just about anything and then to charge under $30 for it. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, what does it uh, compare favorably to? Let's see. Here's the Rake P865. They're about the same size. Um, when these went head-to-head -head in a cardboard cutting contest after uh, Christmas, it was an unofficial, thoroughly non-scientific cutting contest. Uh, I found that I liked cutting with this better uh, in terms of um, cardboard, but this has a more universally comfortable grip, I believe. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, this is going to be funny, but similar vibe. Okay, not a similar vibe. Similar... I'd put it on the same shelf, just at the other end of the shelf. So to me, it's... This has the same sort of uh, utilitarian vibe to it but it's a aesthetically pleasing utilitarian vibe. It's not just uh, straight utilitarian, which I think this is personally. This is kind of in the same realm, if you ask me. Also, uh, I compare it a little bit to this Metamorph just because I know they're kind of probably made in the same neighborhood. They kind of have a similar feel to them, though this is much lighter because it's um, 
aluminum. And then just for size, let's let's put it up against some some old size comparison favorites. Here it is, the Buck 110. Let's see. And here it is with a steel wheel cut jack. Here it is with a tried and true comparison knife. The Spyderco Paramilitary 2. It's got about the same blade length, a little, little more handle than the P801SF. SF standing for satin finish, I'm assuming. And here it is up against the Recon 1. So, still dwarfed by the Recon 1, but a nicely, nicely sized knife. So, in short, I would recommend this Rake P801SF. I think it's a really handy knife. I think it's a handsome knife with the blue accents and the, and the just clean lines. Uh, it's so incredibly useful and reassuring in, in hand. Uh, this, uh, from the jimping here and the easy, and the easy action uh, and easy access to the lock to this really, really nice, some of the best jimping in the business, jimping right here, uh, if you're gonna rate jimping, and a great, great ergonomic handle design. So I'd say, yeah, go for it. And 14C28N is a nice, nice budget steal. Nice, nice, that's something else. Just ask Jackie and Jackie Chan. All right, there you go. The Rake Knives P801SF.